Well, welcome everyone to Gaines inaugural LinkedIn Live. We appreciate you being here. My name is Jason Manis, Gaines CMO. We're going to have a short conversation today, then open it up for Q&A. And by all means, go ahead and enter a question in the comments at any time. I'll do my best to get to it. If you are not familiar with GAIN, please visit GAINadvisors.com and learn more. We are a hub of senior level executives from travel and hospitality, providing advisory services to help companies grow. A very special guest today is Vincent Somson. Hello, Vincent. Hey, Jason. I've been looking forward to this uh, conversation for about two weeks. So excited to be here. Thank you. Cool. Well, we're going to talk about AI for hotels. Ta -da. <laughs> and when we <laughs> and when we say AI for hotels, uh, what are we really talking about? Uh, why don't you describe it for us? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, first and foremost, there's been a lot of noise in the hospitality industry and in the travel industry, right? Um, and also in other industries, what is AI and what do we do with it? And what we say again is AI for hotels are truly practical applications of artificial intelligence that can help both hotel executives from uh, frontline staff to corporate staff um, up in the headquarters um, to automate, streamline, and ultimately uh, increase the bottom line, which is, I guess, the most important uh, when we're talking about this. Uh, so that is what we consider uh, AI for hotels. So are hotels missing out if they're ignoring AI uh, and taking a wait and see attitude? What do you think? I mean, you can, uh, you know, this, this is a question that, that a lot of hotel executives uh, have asked me over the last couple of months. Um, and I always compare it to the moment that uh, internet was, was becoming popular, right? And especially in hotels. Um, you know, if you recall, you know, most of the hotels um, uh, thought, it was a, um, thought it was something that they had nothing to do with, right? We're a people business and we're here for the people, serve, people serving people, right? Um, and that, that over the last couple of years, especially over the last uh, decade, I suppose, that has taken a toll. And if you look at distribution, for example, right? Not implementing direct booking mechanisms, not implementing direct um, uh, technology in your hotel, you know, takes up a huge percentage of your of your uh, booking so that's where i compare it to and certainly if you if you uh, wait and see that's 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 fine but i think you know now is the time um that you can utilize ai uh, and before it's too late and other players might take over uh, certain technologies right so it certainly has an advantage to implement ai uh, presently yeah and, and hotels are are looking into it i mean so waiting waiting and see <laughs> For sure. You're all yeah, the dice. It, yeah, exactly. You see a lot of articles being published, a lot of um, researchers getting uh, you know, delved into AI. But as anything with, with that has to do with technology, hospitality is, is, um, is certainly not a topic that, that um, has, has, uh, has a lot of, um, I guess, research and uh, dedicated to it. But it's definitely, it definitely has use cases for, for hospitality, whether it's day-to-day -day operations or strategic long-term visions. Um, for sure. So we're seeing we're having a lot of uh, conversations with uh, eager hotel hoteliers, um, and being a hotelier myself, you know, I work for for Marriott, I work for Hilton, so I see what the day to day struggles uh, are and what kind of systems they work with, right? Um, and I must say that that you know you can you can uh, there's a lot of possibilities uh, to add AI in those current systems, but also on top of those systems. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up. Um your experience because you, you do have experience in hotel operations and um, you know, for the past few months, you've been auditing hotel operations, looking for inefficiencies that AI could improve. So what sort of problems are you finding? Yeah, that's a good question. I think, you know, these are, these are the most pressing, pressing uh, problems. I think in hotels are first and foremost, labor shortages, Right, um, so huge staff shortages and, and retention, right? Um, inefficient booking processes and journeys, 
but also unpersonalized uh, uh, customers and guest stays, right? Hotels sit on a bunch of data that can be utilized to personalize these stays. Um, but if you look, for example, at the first point I, I addressed, right, the, 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 um, the labor shortage, um, if you, for example, can automate, it's twofold. If you can automate very repetitive uh, tasks, such as, you know, pulling data out of a certain system and putting it manually into a, in your PMS, for example, right? Um, things that can, can be automated and therefore um, relieve the, the hotel employee of, uh, of this, you know, frankly boring task, um, uh, we estimate that this employee will also be much more happier and satisfied uh, uh, during that job, right? Focus on why they actually work in hotels and focus on providing a, uh, the ultimate guest journey, uh, why they actually are in hospitality and why they chose to be in this, uh, in this beautiful industry, right? Um, if you look at uh, inefficient booking uh, journeys, for example, uh, you can think of uh, websites that provide the same experience to every guest that visits on the website. Even though you have a bunch of data uh, that hotels are sitting on basically of that visitor, whether it's a, uh, a guest that is uh, coming back to the hotel or a guest that is looking for a certain experience, you can personalize that with uh, AI. So leverage AI uh, to personalize these journeys and effectively you know, um, uh, try to upsell these the, um, uh, guests uh, and these states, but also personalize them, right? Um, and something that I also mentioned is, is, is right, these guest states that are, uh, that are currently uh, unpersonalized. So after the, after the booking is that you, that you can see a lot of, um, a lot of hotels uh, provide the same generic experience in the, in the hotel uh, for guests. Well, using AI, you can analyze data that came in uh, pre-arrival, but also um, uh, during their stay to uh, potentially um, solve, a, solve a problem that they have during their stay, right? Maybe they, they, they waited too long in the bar. Um, maybe they, they'd like to see something else in the hotel, right? They'd like to go on a tour or whatever. Using AI, you can uh, effectively personalize this, those stays pre-arrival, but also during the stay, um, which obviously provides a lot of opportunity uh, to create ancillary revenue streams, right? Yeah, that first one, uh... Like just last week, I had a conversation with the founder of Robo Size Me, uh, and their automating process is not necessarily AI, but just um, twenty five hotels. And he was saying that that the the impact on the hotel staff is fantastic because their lives are easier. And it's, you know, it's been kind of a rough go ever since we started coming back from the pandemic. You know. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, you know, if you if you see the. Um... The, the the labor that has you know gone uh, gone away from the industry because of you know certain reasons right maybe, maybe the lack of pay maybe the repetitive tasks that you know up until uh, a couple of years ago I did right you you were doing night shifts and you were uh, I, I was going through every hotel hotel um, uh, lectures of so every hotel room to see okay what kind of manual data do we need to look out for essentially doing an analysis right. And it's uh, with these systems that's, um, um, that's, that, that doesn't have to be that way anymore. You can automate that and, and do that analysis within a couple of seconds, right? And based on that analysis, you can you know, personalize further, right? And the personalization and the execution of this, right, is done by humans, right? And humans are best catered to that, right? We, we, we haven't seen any uh, AI leverage systems uh, that are capable of, of um, delivering the same experience that a human can. Right um, for the better. Yeah. So, do hoteliers need to be AI or even IT experts to implement some of the solutions you know that you are recommending, or would they have to hire uh, someone uh, to help them implement AI solutions? W what does that really look like? Yeah, that's a good question. I think you know, first and foremost, I would I would encourage any hotelier or any hotel travel executive. Uh, for that matter, to already experiment um, with with uh, free tools such as a uh, such as ChatGPT, right, which is a large language model, right. Um, uh, you can already experience with that on a day to day basis. You can also look at Midjourney, right, which is an image generator, right. Um, you can you can look at uh, all these different AI tools, and you can use it um, in your day to day job. Um, nevertheless, for I guess a 
comprehensive, future-focused and curated uh, strategy. Um, that's where I come in the picture, right? Uh, we've, we've, uh, again, we've got, um, we've gone through you know, uh, dozens of of, of uh, AI tools. I've done my research. I know what works. I know what doesn't work. I know what um, vendors and companies are claiming uh, to uh, to use AI, which is not the case most of the time, right? So I guess for a future oriented and strategic, comprehensive AI strategy within either your independent hotel or a hotel group, um, hotel executives can rely on me uh, in in that regard. So can they use um, like these AI applications on top of their existing solutions or do they have to disrupt their entire hotel stack or <laughs> what does that look like? <laughs> yeah, no, certainly not. They don't, they, they wouldn't have to disrupt it at all. Okay. I would say it's more of a complementary uh, uh, service. And there are certainly AI tools that can be, um, that can, can live on top of the current uh, tech stack. Um, but my personal favorite is AI integrating in a tech stack, right? Um, so, for example, plugging into uh, plugging in uh, an AI uh, service or tool uh, into the current uh, revenue management system that helps uh, developing uh, pricing, right? There are there are various tools that can be used for that. Um, plug it in into your current housekeeping system, into, for example, a scheduling software, right? Those are all possibilities that that uh, are often overlooked. So it definitely not, doesn't have to disrupt um, the entire entire uh, tech stack in the car. Yeah, good. Uh, so what kind of hotels uh, are you working with? So we work with um, large hotel chains. Uh, you know, we're talking about top 10 uh, hotel chains uh, that are out there. But we're also talking about um, uh, smaller independent hotels. Uh, that that um, that have you know maybe a, just a couple of systems uh, and can be leveraged um, you know uh, from within a couple of weeks. Yeah, so so it's not a it, it's not a necessarily a huge investment. L let's just say you're a, a hundred room independent. Uh, I mean, th there are some there's there's got to be areas that can be addressed with these AI enabled applications, and it it doesn't you're not necessarily talking about breaking the bank, right? No, certainly not. No, um, you know, we, we offer, uh, at Game, we offer, um, you know, a standard package. Uh, but also, for example, if a hotel wants to uh, potentially um, potentially uh, integrate AI in a specific department or a specific area, um, uh, let's say the kitchen or F&B or uh, just reservations, right? Uh, that can definitely be done and um, doesn't, break the bank, doesn't break the bank at all. Um, we have a very customized approach to uh, to every client um, uh, but we also offer our, our, our standard uh, packages that that, uh, that the hotels can, um, can can utilize yeah right and and a lot of these solutions they can implement themselves because they don't have to be experts right and I think yeah. even more interesting um, is a, a lot of these are scalable right yeah yeah for sure. For like um, you know if and especially when you when you talk about you know uh, when you talk about in a few years right um, the faster you start with AI and and uh, providing it you know certain data to work with it essentially train the AI model um, the better the, the better the output right so the the, um, the output that that um, that it generates in two years will be significantly um, of, of higher credit of higher quality than than uh, than it, uh, um, that it provides, you know, uh, on day one, right? Because you train the model with your company, with your data, with your customers. Um, so by time, it gets better and better. So the sooner you start, the better, right? So uh, when you're evaluating these applications, um, t talk to us about that. You know, what are you looking for? Yeah. So this definitely depends on the um, on the hotel itself, right? Because um, you have certain certain uh, AI tools or AI uh, AI enhanced products um, that don't integrate, for example, with a, with a hotel tech stack, or they don't or they don't um, um, they don't work with uh, you know just small small hotels. You have to have a certain amount of data. So 
while auditing the hotel, we also subsequently look at what uh, AI tool fits that particular hotel, right? Um, so it's a very, very curated approach that we take in auditing and curating um, these specific solutions, right? Not every AI tool can be used by any hotel, certainly not. Uh, we, we only look for the best out of the best and provide um, these recommendations to the hotels. You got one you'll share with us? <laughs> well, you did. You um, shared I'm, a couple. Yeah, well, you, said, you shared chat GPT, uh, and then you said there was another one, Mid Journey or something like that. Yeah, Mid Journey, indeed. That's an industry agnostic too. Um, that that uh, that hotels can use to generate um, original copyright free uh, images. So uh, marketing for marketing departments can can use that. Um, uh, you know, as of uh, as of you know uh, the next uh, next minute. Um, that's readily available. It takes uh, it takes a little bit to to uh, to install it um, and to work uh, work with it, but it's very you can you can get the gist within five five minutes, so to say. Um, there's another there's another um, tool I'd like to uh, that, that I'd like to uh, you know see uh, developing even more, um, which is uh, uh, pricing service .ai. Um, they, these guys uh, they integrate within. Uh, with uh, revenue management systems, or they can also um, stand alone besides a revenue management system. Uh, it's a startup, and but they've already had customers and they're uh, developing with you know big clients already. Um, and they leverage AI to uh, predict and forecast uh, pricing in hotels, right? Um, much more efficient than a, a, a legacy, relatively legacy revenue management system does. Uh, so that's one way of using AI in your day-to-day operations and day-to-day -day systems, so to say, uh, which doesn't need any interference uh, of, uh, of hotel executives uh, at all. Very good. Well, let's open it up for Q&A. What do you think? Yeah, sure thing. Yeah. So there's some activity going over there on comments. Um, anyone with us, you have a question, put it over there in comments. And I'll ask Mr. Salmson, um, the first one I see is, uh, how would AI benefit the guests? Yeah, that's a good one. Um, so can AI can benefit, there you go. Uh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AI would benefit guests in, in multiple ways. Uh, first of all, it can personalize the guest journey, right? Um, so when you, for example, go on a, on a website, it also, it only provides what's relevant to you, right? The relevant, uh, price category, the relevant experiences, uh, right? There's no reason for a business traveler to see, for example, that are, that are solely going, uh, for a business trip to see, uh, a offer for a theme park, right? Because he's on a business trip. He's not going with his family to, on a, on a leisure trip. That's just a very simple experience to make the web page is more relevant of a hotel, right? But also during the during the um, uh, the, the stay, for example, AI can leverage um, uh, hotels can leverage AI to, for example, to uh, prevent um, prevent uh, errors from occurring. Let's say um, it can already uh, you, you already have tools that can uh, can indicate, for example, if a certain amenity is broken, um, if a if a if a light is out, right? So before the guest even um, but before the guest even has to call the front office, look, there's a light bulb out. And hotels can already recognize this error and fix it themselves uh, or inform the guests that they're stopping by, right? So, th so those are just two simple examples. Yeah, good one. Here's another one. How do you overcome the challenge of products that don't have APIs when integrating AI into these platforms? Yeah, that's that's definitely a good one. It's a little bit more technical, right? APIs. Um, there are certain uh, certain APIs, and most of them actually, um, that can sit sit on top of these existing uh, uh, systems, right? So uh, beyond APIs, they can, can operate, right? For example, we see also a lot of a, a lot of hotels that uh, still do ma manual scheduling of staff, right? This is something that I that we always come across. Uh, I did it myself, right back in uh, back in the U.S. when I was working for Waldorf. Um, we would manually uh, make the schedules for uh, for employees with all types of different contracts and all types of different uh, preferences. And using an AI tool that you know there's a, there's a couple that exist already, 
and that we also recommend, um, that can be done within a couple of minutes um, and without any human error, right? So that's definitely something that is a standalone product, a standalone tool that can that doesn't have to uh, work with APIs. Good. This one's uh, maybe a little similar. Uh, what if any basic infrastructure capabilities are key in being able to implement AI-based solutions? Um, there are certainly, certainly, um, I guess, technologies uh, that you can think of that, for example, a, a, a PMS like Oracle, right? A, a, a relatively a legacy system, right? Um, in order to integrate or provide valuable data about, uh, you know, uh, to guests um, or for guests or even for employee uh, staff, you would, you know, if there is, for example, a um, an AI tool uh, that needs to integrate uh, with Oracle or, or any other legacy system, yeah, that would be a, that would indeed be a challenge. Um, and that is why we always see, okay, what are the needs of the hotel and what are the capabilities, capabilities, right? Um, it's very different to uh, uh, certain, I guess it would be very different for um, hotel groups or hotel chains, large hotel chains, um, to integrate AI in their day-to-day -day operations than a independent hotel, right? Uh, whereas whereas a ho large hotel chain would, would probably need inter API and uh, integration into the basic infrastructure, right? Um, we always recommend to smaller independent hotels uh, to perhaps um, to, to recommend uh, certain AI tools that don't require integration into the basic infrastructure, right? Um, but just as well add value uh, for the hotel uh, staff and employees, and eventually also the owner, of course. All right. Melissa wants to know, what's the AI startup that's taking approach to solving revenue management? I think this was the, the pricing you were talking about? Yeah, pricing service that AI. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if yeah. you can um put the put those guys in the in the comments um yeah pricing, pricing service AI. yeah pricing service AI. yeah we ran into them at high tech very interesting yeah, yeah they're he's talking about you don't even need a revenue manager <laughs> exactly exactly and that that's that's the beauty of it right it's it's um it's not it's not disruption at all it's a uh, i guess it's it is a disruption but disruption in a different way it's a disruption of the mindset and disruption of old um, techniques that are outdated. It's the disruption of that. Um, but it's, it's, it's streamlining, optimizing uh, to new techniques such as these. Yeah, yeah. What is a worthy minimal investment amount for an independent full service destination market property to start playing? <laughs> um, <laughs> what does he mean by playing there? one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what 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 does playing mean? I mean, again, there's there's plenty of options available. Um, I, I think we we put the link of of our website uh, in the comments, right, Jason? Um, you know, I would you know it can be it can be a, we offer a a, a, sur a standard service um, AI service pack uh, for eight and a half thousand dollars um, for one property, and that you know it, while you add more and more uh, properties, uh, let's say two or three. Uh, it goes up um, by, uh, I believe it's two two thousand uh, dollars per property. So let's say you have a um, let's say you have two properties. You're looking at um, uh, ten point five k, right? But if, for example, you say, okay, I only want to have um, uh, AI integrated in a certain department um, of of my hotel. Let's say you have a couple hundred rooms, or uh, let's say you have a couple hundred rooms, and I only want to have AI integrated in my F and B department we can provide a customized proposal to see, okay, how can we optimize the F&B department uh, with AI enhanced tools? And then when we're talking about large corporate, um, uh, large corporate or big hotel change, of course, we uh, provide a customized proposal uh, for that regard. Yeah, let me, let me emphasize that, um, yes, Vincent does provide auditing of hotel operations to identify gaps where AI-enabled applications can help. Um, but there's a lot out there that you can research yourself. You can, you can identify some of these apps and, and, and take on yourself. Um, you know, and I, and, and again, like he's saying, you don't have to be total experts. So, you know, you can, you can, you can call up gain, uh, and, and have a conversation with Vincent or, um, you know, there's other avenues. You know, you might want to check it out yourself. Yeah. I would say, you know, first of all, you try to use ChatGPT. 
And one yeah. one thing um, one thing that is often overlooked are the um, the plugin uh, capabilities of ChatGPT um, that are now available. Uh, you can use, for example, something that I use today um, is creating an AI video. It's a 30 second AI video that you can just uh, create a prompt in ChatGPT and it spits out 30 seconds of a, your own video um, that is that is that is uh, customized to your prompt, so to say, your input of the of the model. So you can do that for your hotel chain just to check it out. Yeah, um, and I was I, I saw this earlier, uh, Elizabeth here was saying uh, ChatGPT has been an amazing resource for developing a starting place for job descriptions, review responses, social media posts, and uh, training generation. Certainly. Certainly. That's a great place to start. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not necessarily a question, but I thought I would put it up here just in case you've had some experience with this. AI is already being used by some platforms and guest messaging uh, to drive better guest experience. I don't know if you have any comments, if you have some experience with uh, guest experience, guest messaging. Yeah, it certainly is. Nope. Oh, I think we lost him. <laughs> He's frozen on my side. He is a long way f away from me in the Valencia. I think I lost you there for a second. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> and we're back, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, you're back. Fantastic. Um, there's a lot of there's there's a, there's certainly a lot of or guest messaging um, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, providing uh, personalized personalized offers, but also just uh, offering an easy way uh, of of guest communication, right? Uh, so if, for example. Um, if, for example, you need, uh, and this this doesn't have to be AI related, but this is pr a perfect example of where AI can be integrated and offer a, a, a more personalized way and a more efficient way of guest messaging. Yeah. Are there any potential downsides to the use of AI in hotels, in your opinion? <laughs> Thank you what for the question. What could go wrong, Vincent? Appreciate what could go wrong? <laughs> Yeah, what what could go wrong? <laughs> it's um, Skynet. <laughs> I mean, there are certain there, there. Sure, there are downsides, right? The, there are certain downsides um, that I that I can think of 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 um, right integration, right? You 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 know, as a as a hotel, you don't necessarily want to focus on technology, perhaps, right? That's not why I got into the business, right? I didn't have the idea of let's jump into hospitality and and uh, implement technology no i'd like to have a connection with the guests and that's why i you know did the uh, hotel school and when when went to work for hotels right um so i guess committing uh, committing staff and committing um, your internal organization to ai um can be can be quite frustrating uh, right uh, and that's something that i can help with of course but in any case, it's going. It, it could be a little frustrating. So I guess the hurdle of overcoming that could be a potential downside. If you look at in terms of you know technical downsides, of course there's a lot of concern about privacy, right? And that is also um, why 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 you know we have this research, right? This this curation, this vetted research um, of uh, of what AI tools to to integrate, right? Because there's a lot of sensitive data that um, that that should not be public, right? We all know the, the data breaches um, uh, and the fraud uh, that, that exists in our in our in our uh, in the hospitality industry. Um, so there's definitely a, a risk there. Um, but that is that is why it's so important to to truly research and vet through these companies. Yeah, and and the other thing you mentioned early on is that I mean, the, the, there's really nothing out there that's replacing anybody. I mean, everything that I have seen, I think everything that you have seen is really for the people that are already in your hotel working it's it's making their lives easier faster better right yeah except for the revenue manager no i'm, I'm kidding i'm kidding um, but... <laughs> oh that's right we did <laughs> we we did uh, just threw a solution out there well, you don't need a revenue manager anymore <laughs> <laughs> no it's certainly it's it, it's certainly not no it will only enhance it will only enhance um uh, your day-to-day -day operation it will only make you more able to do the job that, that you got hired for and the only thing that you have to worry about about replacement is is perhaps the person that is not uh, using AI into into their day to day uh, work that might be replacing uh, that might be replaced. Yes. Yeah, 
and then I'm not laughing at revenue managers because I, I spent some time with revenue managers. I love revenue managers. That's, that's a unique bunch. <laughs> They're fun to work with. Very, very smart people. Uh, yeah, that's funny. Well, that's probably not funny. Um, all right, here we go. When it comes to personalization, how do you balance making it directly relevant to guests against managing responsibility under privacy laws? When it comes to personalization, how do you balance making it relevant to guests uh, against managing responsibility? Um, well, that's a good question, Dominic. I, I guess it. I guess it. Um, it depends on you know. First of all, the the data uh, itself. What kind of um, what kind of data are we using uh, to train the model, the AI model, right? And what kind of um, output do you want to generate as a hotel? Um, and you know what what kind of what kind of um, hotels uh, what kind of output do you want to do you want to achieve what 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 are the uh, right the results that you'd like to see um, and you know in terms of personalization you you, you know there there are certain uh, rules that you have to abide by right there are European rules there are uh, US rules so you know implementing AI doesn't mean you can skip those rules so there are governmental boundaries in place. Um, that we uh, that we have to um, stand by uh, and obey, uh, and that goes for any technology, right? Whether it's AI, whether it's um, right, any technology out there. Um, so, so that I, I hope that answers the question uh, a little bit. Yeah, a lot of government agencies are really starting to look at this too. So things are bound to change rather quickly. Yeah, exactly. And in, in Europe, for example, right where I live. Um, we didn't have any access to 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 Bart, for example, uh, for the last couple of Google Google Bart, right? For the last couple of months, um, ChatGPT was a delayed launch in uh, in Europe and and and, and so on. Um, so you know, there's definitely there's definitely um, a side for this. Yeah. 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 Well, I think that's all of our questions. Uh, as we wrap up, if if anyone's got one more question shoot it in there real quick but um you know i want to thank everyone for joining us uh thank you vincent for spending time with us uh and then let me encourage everyone uh to visit um the ai for hotel service pack on the gainadvisors.com page uh website and there's there's everything about gain is on gainadvisors.com and you can go learn about uh, Vincent, uh, what Vincent's doing, uh, what he's providing the market. And uh, again, I just want to thank everybody for joining us today. It's been fun. Thank you, Vincent. Thanks, Jason. And thanks, everybody, for the, for the questions. Very engaging. Um, hope to see you next time. Yeah, it's great. All right. Next time, everyone.